Installation Process. Now it will show you the basic installation process of a floor heating system. Step 1. Prepare tools and materials necessary for installing floor heating products. The tools and materials required for installation include carbon rod heating tracks, special electric wire, intermediate terminal, heat shrinkable sleeve, waterproof tape, temperature controller, extruded plastic plate, reflective film, wire mesh, mesh cloth, insulation strip for edges and corners, crimping pliers, wire stripping pliers, and hot air blower. Step 2. Prepare for the installation of a floor heating system with carbon rod heating tracks. First of all, clean the construction site and level the floor until there is no concave or convex of higher than 5 mm. Secondly, determine the position of the temperature controller and upstream circuit. Get ready for the installation of a floor heating system with carbon rod heating tracks. Step 3. Lay the extruded plastic plate, reflective film, and insulation strip for edges and corners. Lay and fix the extruded plastic plates on the whole floor. Connect them with adhesive tape. Apply the reflective film on the extruded plastic plate. Connect the reflective film with adhesive tape. And finally, fix the insulation strip for edges and corners along the edge of walls. Step 4. Lay the grounding protective layer. Lay the wire meshes on the reflective film, overlap them each other, and connect the wire mesh to the grounding wire while strengthening the cement and carbon rod heating tracks. Step 5. Place and fix carbon rod heating tracks. Connect the carbon rod heating tracks with the intermediate terminal and heat shrinkable sleeve. Cut off one side of the wire on the edge and rotate it by 180 degrees before it is laid backwards. It should be noted that the maximum length of a single heating system of carbon rod heating tracks shall not exceed 25 meters, according to the specification of the temperature controller. Fix the carbon rod heating tracks on the heat reflective material with floor heating clips to prevent their movement. Do not fix any clip directly on the heating tracks. Step 6. Connect and insulate the carbon rod heating tracks. Use the wire stripping pliers to remove the insulation layer of the special wire by 5 to 7 millimeters and insert the wire whose insulation layer was removed into the intermediate terminal. Tighten the terminal with the crimping pliers, cover each terminal with a heat shrinkable sleeve, and then heat the heat shrinkable sleeve with a hot air blower until it softens. After the heat shrinkable sleeve cools, use the waterproof tape to re-insulate and waterproof the terminals. A stable two-layer insulation waterproof joint is formed in this way. Connect all carbon rod heating tracks in the same way until the last group. Step 7. Switch on the temperature controller. Install the temperature controller on the specified position. Connect carbon rod heating tracks in strict accordance with the instructions of the temperature controller manufacturer. Switch on the temperature controller and carry out the heating test of carbon rod heating tracks. The test should not exceed 15 minutes. Test the stability. Step 8. Install the protective layer. Install the mesh cloth directly on the carbon rod heating tracks as a protective layer. Fix the mesh cloth clips on the extruded plastic plate. So far, the installation of a floor heating system of carbon rod heating tracks has been finished. Step 9. Install thermal storage layer by user. Install self-leveling cement mortar directly on the protective layer as a thermal storage layer. It should be noted that the thermal storage layer shall be no less than 2 cm thick and floorboards or tiles shall be laid on the thermal storage layer. When the thermal storage layer becomes sufficiently dry, the floor heating system of carbon rod heating tracks can be put into operation.